for 15 years. Live from the 5 Eyewitness News Studios, it's your happy hour and a half. Twin Cities Live. Hey, welcome into Twin Cities Live on this Thursday. It is weekend eve ah. for everybody. Ah, I, I love know. a Thursday. We're, we're right there, you guys. I know. We're right there, Elizabeth Reese. Feels good. The only bummer thing about this week ending is it'll mean the end of Pork Week. Fortunately, we have two more days. Our friend Mike Patterson mm -hmm. is here. He's a hog farmer. He's also a State Fair Blue Ribbon winning hog farmer. And he's going to cook up some pork sausage rolls for us today. And then he also mm. always fills us in on what's happening on the farm, which I, I like. I I love it. You know, a pork sausage roll sounds very versatile. Feels like you can do a lot of things it with a pork sausage roll. Delicious. Right? I feel like, where have I had a sausage roll? Is it like a British thing? Were those in, in those London? like little hand pie things? It might be kind of. Yeah, that's where it was. Were those oh. on the menu somewhere when we were in London covering that Vikings game? I wonder if that was the case. I if that's think where I'm, I'm having like a food memory from travel. It's right next to your buddy, the cheesemonger. Oh, your yeah. London cheesemonger. I met this great cheesemonger, and we featured him on the show at Borough Market I know, he's in like London. He's like friend now. And um, yeah, his name's Mike. And then he was just emailing because he knew he moved to the Netherlands, and he does all these amazing cheese things. I gotta write him back. You just never know when you're going to make a lifelong friend. For me, it usually involves cheese at a food market. So how does that work? Do you think you could order cheese from him and send it over? I mean, it would work, right? There's I don't know. I bet there would be some sort of U.S. government regulation that would prevent me from doing that. But um, I like having a cheese friend in another nation. No, just do what all the smugglers do and put it in coffee. Oh, my god! Just, just buy, buy bulk coffee and just kind of put it in some wrapping and stick it in there. They'll, ne they'll never know. They'll never Customs know. will never know. All right. All yeah. right. Uh, Kristen's also taking us along to the Artisan Home Tour on the Parade of Homes to look at a uh, one-of-a-kind, very unique house. Oh, I love looking inside these houses. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. And then Lindsey Brown is going to show us a very fun autumn yard as we kick off our Best Backyard series for fall. I have a feeling there are going to be lots of beautiful leaves on the ground. It'll be lovely to look at in this kind of cozy fall day. But boy, hmm. Twins fans Ooh, are boy. just, I don't even know how you all got out of bed this morning because it felt so bad. It just felt so bad. And it felt like last night, I mean, there was a shot and then it just didn't come to fruition. I know. You know, it's, um, it's, it's sad because there was so much hope. It was very deflating. I, unfortunately, because I was watching Ames' volleyball game and helping out there, I didn't get to see much of the game, but I got home just in time to see Kepler at the plate for the very last out. And I know I'm with you guys, too. I'm just like, just swing the darn bat. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't want to go down and end the season by looking at a strike, which, by the way, in my opinion, was a pretty easy strike. Okay. Um, the thing is, from now, I'm kind of just, I'm take stealing here yeah. because, you know, I didn't watch every single well, at bat, okay. obviously. No, who does? Baseball but it is sounds a long like, game. well, playoff baseball, if, if I wasn't busy with kids' stuff, I was going to watch every single pitch. Okay. Um, it sounds like they were just swinging for the fences the whole time. Mm. You know, instead of just playing, playing ball, like get guys on base, knock a guy in from second base. You like, know, let's click, steal. click, click, start yeah, moving Yeah, let's along. just, you know, let's just kind of do that. Let's just play the game of baseball for nine innings. Instead, it sounds like they went up there and just like we're swinging for the fences, which did happen in the first inning because Royce Lewis is a stud. But they lost the game to the Houston Astros. Um, so the series is over. Season is over. And so now they basically regroup. And now it's all the talk about what do they do? How do they add pieces? Because I got to tell you one thing about this little run. It's addictive. Yeah. I think the, the fans, the team, the clubhouse, the organization, they had a taste of the playoffs, and now we're all addicted. And Haven't we had it get for back a long time. Year. I mean, yeah. it was a 16-year streak. This is very exciting. Okay, well, mm -hmm. tough ending. Uh, but fortunately for all of us, we have more sports games to follow. Uh, Minnesota Wild season, they're just beginning. Their regular season is opening tonight. They face off against the Florida Panthers. That is tonight at uh, 7 o'clock p.m. And it is very fun to head over to the XL Energy Center and watch the Wild play. Yeah, and those uh, those Florida Panthers are really, really good. I think they surprised everybody last year by playing in the finals uh, against the Vegas uh, Golden Knights. They got beat, but... That just means that they're a really good team. So we got a tough opponent for our first our first little matchup here. I like you know? going to wild games. I feel like it's a really great social event. I always run into lots of people I know. I know. How much how much actual hockey do you watch when you go to a wild well, game? Well, I'm gonna tell you, I don't watch a ton of hockey. I, <laughs> I'm I'm saying in when you're the there. atmosphere. No, when I'm there, I also don't watch a ton of hockey. Like I watch some of it, but I like to go with friends and have a little chit chat. I mean, if you're in there during the playoffs, you gotta be more serious. But yeah. in a regular season game, you can That's enjoy true. it. There's a million games to go to. And um, 
um, I like to just run into friends and say it hello. Is a, it is a fun little social outing. I know. And it, then you just cheer when the siren goes off. Yeah. It's oh, so nice. yay, we scored. And then I like that bar down the street from um, the XL, that bar, I think it's called Grand Seven. And okay. it's like this little bar on the corner, and you have to like walk a little ways. But if you ever want to spot me after a wild game, that's where I go. I walk down, and then we wait for an Uber down there because it's a little Smart. bit away from the... And it's just like a great down home little family owned bar. Have yeah. you ever been in there? It's no. a great spot. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, it's like I go in there every time I'm in that bar, I'm like, this is what a bar should be. I know. I, awesome. I will out myself that I'm a true like West Sider. I just don't get to the east side very much. I know it's my fault. Even when I go to a wild game, it's still like I get dropped off via Uber or something like that like yeah. just before the game starts. I don't spend a lot of Saint time. St. Paul does not count as the east side. It's, east it's side. the city. It, it, it's the east side. <laughs> it's right. It's oh it is. Gosh. Yeah. See, oh ten, ten degrees. He's nodding his head. You can't me see. Up, him. you guys. Uh, but you know what's really really cool about our shows? We get to really I think touch and influence a lot of lives, and you guys always show us all the time. You guys are the best viewers ever, the best fans ever. So yesterday we introduced you to the Instagram account. Oh. It's Mo time. All right, so Chris put out a call to all you TCLers to help him raise money for Metaviver, which is dedicated to the specific fight of those living with stage four metastatic breast cancer. His goal was to raise $5,000. You know, it's really cool because last year he raised $1,000 in this effort, and he's got a great podcast. He has a great social media mm -hmm. following, and so he decided to utilize that and get some help. But being featured on Twin Cities Live yesterday made a big difference for him. Our Twin Cities Live viewers, you all crushed it. We raised that money, that $5,000 goal. He hit it in less than a day. So I messaged him on Instagram today. I said, hey, what do, you, what do you have to say about this? Will you send us a little message? Here's what he shot over. TCL family, it's Chris from Ope. It's Mo Time. I just want to come in and say thank you for your outpour and support from yesterday's segment, focusing on my fundraiser towards Metaviver and the research and critical funding needed for metastatic and stage four breast cancer. Initially, we had a goal of $5,000 raised at the beginning of the month that we just crushed yesterday. We have surpassed that, and now it's time to pour it on. The rest of the month is going to be a glass ceiling for this fundraiser, and I want to see how much we can pour on and help out this critical cause. Stage 4 needs more. There's links to donate on the page that TCL has provided. Thank you to the TCL family. Thank you to the viewers. We'll catch you soon. Oh, Chris, you're awesome. officially part of the TCL family. I know. That's so, okay, how funny is it? Did you notice that in his office, Chris has the same prints, uh, the art behind him, that Kelly Hansen has in her office? How and what? Kelly interviewed Chris in the story that aired yesterday, and I was watching them, and I felt like, boy, these two feel like they're old friends. Yeah. You know, just from meeting and, and doing that story. And he has the same art in his office and that now Kelly they have does. Similar taste. It's from Dogfish Media. And it's sort of funny because when Kelly, during the pandemic, was going live and doing all of her interviews, see, they're on his. Uh, yep, the tree. They're to like the, the right Minnesota on the screen. Tree thing, yeah. So when Kelly was live from her office nonstop during the pandemic, uh, she got just tons of emails from people who were saying, what are those art? What's the art? Yeah. Who makes the art? And Dogfish Media, the power of TCL, sold him out. Like, he, it was a game changer for her, his business. And then I feel mm. like this is coming full circle that then we have Chris on, and you all made such a big difference for him and helping to raise money for Metaviver, and he has the same princes in his office. I don't there know it is. what's happening here. So do you, we need to maybe figure out how he got his hands on that, that that art. Do you think maybe it was because of I don't Kelly? think so. I think this is divine intervention. And if you subscribe, you'll save 10%. That pop-up ad just showed up right there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Okay, wow. yesterday, this was, this was super fun. Yesterday, you know, we were just like, you know, just having fun here in host chat. You made a comment about eau de pork. Eau de pork. Uh, we've got a good smelling studio today. We do. It always is nice when it's like eau de pork has been sprayed all over <laughs> the studio uh, because it is pork week. Thank you, thank you. Do they actually have cologne that smells like cooked meat? It, it would be very attractive to it, a certain wouldn't segment it, Wouldn't of that the be just like a fun sort of like gaggy Father's Day gift where you, know, you can smell like a like a smoked brisket? Well, I do feel like like that smoky grill smell. Like if Jay's been out, you yeah. know, and he's like manning something on the green egg and then he's going to bring it in, I'm like, oh, this is very attractive. I'm I know. I'm liking this aroma. I know. Just think <laughs> if he walks in with a, like a platter full of meat with a shirt off. 
It's just like everything's in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> it always has to get so weird here. But that did get us thinking. And it our producers, uh, we need to investigate this. Is there really food scented perfume or cologne? Uh, and it turns out there is. There is. So we're going to play a round of okay or no way to decide if we would wear these aromas or not. The game is very simple. We're going to say a perfume scent that does exist. And then we're going to say, okay, yes, I would wear it. Or no sure. way, yep. I would not okay. wear it. No way. I, I feel like this is going to end up with me saying I will not wear any of these. And Ben will be like, hey, yeah, order them all. <laughs> yep, order the sampler. Okay, the first one is called Q by Pork Barrel Barbecue. This is a barbecue-scented cologne. It smells like burger and pulled pork. No, That's a great-looking bottle. That is not a great-looking bottle. And I'm going to go with no, 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 no. I'm not going to wear that. <laughs> yes, I'm going to wear that. Oh, my gosh. If you wore that, Abby would be like, get out of the house. She says that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, just, I'll just skip out of the house, smell a little bit better about myself. And you know? all the dogs. All the dogs are going to be following you. How about this one? Bacon by Farganay. <laughs> It's bacon scented perfume. Uh, if you specifically want to smell like bacon, this is the fragrance for you. I feel like I need to send an image of this to Laura Shera, who has a dog named Bacon. Yeah, or is it pronounced Bacon? Bacon. The bacon. Um, all right, okay or no way? Uh, not surprisingly, yes. I'm going I'm with say a no way. Okay, because I, it's such a good Sunday morning brunch feel and smell. You know, <laughs> I always love that when I'm just making bacon. I'm like, you know, everybody's everybody loves this smell. So if you could just like spray it on and it is like crawl into bed. Yeah. It feels like every Sunday morning. People do love that. I made um, pasta carbonara, spaghetti carbonara for my kids last night, which is like their favorite mm -hmm. food. And so they can smell the bacon outside. Like they know when I've started dinner yes. because they're in the front yard playing with the boys the next door and they can smell it. Yeah, you it. don't need the triangle to tell them that's coming inside to no. eat. You can just smell it. All right, how about number three? Candy corn by Body Splash. It's a candy corn body splash. It is a body splash. It That's is a body different from a perfume. That's like a real 90s thing when they were trying to sell you something else. So they were like, hey, in addition to perfume, you should also wear a body splash. It was like when they tried to do sprayable lotion. Do you remember that, guys? I guess that doesn't even make sense I to worked me. at Bath & Body Works, and they came out with sprayable lotion. They're like, here's, this is better. Let's spray the lotion on. This Ew. Personal care products in the 90s are wild. Um, yeah. is that, are you a uh, no way? I'm a, a no way. I cannot yeah, stand no candy corn. I think candy corn is the worst thing ever besides Bitto honey and those stupid little orange wrap pumpkins. Yeah, you can actually find that one on Etsy. Okay. How about this one? Eau de Toast. Okay, now yeah, we're talking. I, yes. This was created by the UK's Federation of Bakers. It was a limited edition, but apparently you can still sometimes find it on eBay. And if I'm going to smell like any food item, fresh baked bread is it. Yep, I'm in. I'm okay. in. Okay. Eau de Toast. I like it. Okay, so um, it's called, oh, you, you pronounce it O. Yeah. The E-A, I don't know. Yeah. That's an e. Yeah, it was a part-time perfume e. sprayer for um, Calvin Klein and, at Her Burgers in high school. Uh, okay, how about this one? O de Stilton. All right, oh this one gosh. is not no. actually available, but it was made by the Stilton Cheesemakers Association. It smelled, <laughs> get this, you guys. It smelled like blue cheese. Because that's what Stilton is. It's a blue cheese. Oh, gosh. Uh, they created samples. They planned to mass produce it if it caught on, but shockingly, people weren't super into it. Ah. See, I think this would, be, this would be a great prank. You should, if they made it for real, you should buy it. Yeah. And then you should spray it on your friends as, like, unbeknownst to them. Oh, my God. So, like, I envision myself maybe, like, in eighth grade, and you're, like, just walking around. You spray it on somebody. That will get you kicked out of school. Okay, yeah. this next one, um, Krispy Kreme Donuts. This is another eau de parfum that you can find on Etsy. Listen, I'm here for it. I like it. I'm going to give that one an okay. What about sushi by Demeter? Do you want to uh, smell like sushi? 100% no way. Well, the thing, yeah, nobody wants to smell like fish. No. Uh -uh. Not at all. That's the last thing anybody wants to smell like is whether it's fresh or a day old. Are you giving it a no way? I'm giving it a no way. All right. Yeah. That's it. You we, guys. We got a couple Betsy, more. that was fun. But we can get those. 
We're gonna, gonna get those. I'm gonna get the sampler. I'm actually. I I want to get the uh, the, the. I want the toast ones. one. I want to try the toast one. I want Very the Q. Fun. Yeah, the Q and the toast one. All right. Listen, we've been talking about pork, and our Twin Cities Live wine guy has a vino that pairs perfectly with pulled pork sandwiches. You can get the mm. Ode to Pork the natural way, guys. He's got an exclusive deal to help you save some cash as well. That is coming up next on your happy hour and a half. It's happy hour time. Oh, Pop a bottle. Host Chat is presented by Pour Moi Climate Smart Skincare. The proof is in Uli's hands and our faces.